Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, we will create this dispersing logo reveal animation using some built-in effects in After Effects and I will also share a lot of tips and tricks along the way which will definitely help you become an After Effects Pro. So make sure to watch this video till the end and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. I'm going with the resolution of 2K. You can of course go with full HD that is 1920 or 4K if you want to. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and duration is set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Now let's create a new composition which is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo. Press OK. And for the logo, I'm going to simply type in an alphabet, but you can, of course, use your own logo as well. All right, let's add some color to this. So I'll go into effects and presets and search for ramp and let's add a gradient ramp effect. I'm going to put this somewhere around here, maybe. And this one right here. Let's set this to a nice blue color and this one to a darker blue. OK, maybe this one, I'm going to keep it a little bit more vibrant. All right, so that is looking nice. Now let's create another new composition and call this alpha. This is going to be our alpha matte layer. Let's go right here in the shape layer tool and select the ellipse tool. Double click to create a circle. We don't need any stroke. So let's set the stroke to zero. Let's make this one white. Now go in the ellipse one, ellipse path one and Hold Alt and double click on the link tool and that is going to create a perfect circle. We can bring up the size a little bit like so. Let's go to around 8 seconds and press S to bring down the scale property. Create a keyframe. Go at the very start and set this down to 0. So now we have a very simple circular animation. Let's select the layer. Go into effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent displace. Let's increase the amount to around 55 or 60 should be good and bring down the size to 85. Let's increase the complexity to 10 and yep, that is looking pretty nice. So we have something like this. So this layer is going to act as a mask for revealing our logo. All right, let's go back into our main project panel and create a new composition. I'm going to call this logo precomp underscore zero one. Now drag the logo composition and on top of that, I'm going to drag the alpha composition that we just created and let's change the track mat of this to alpha. So now we have something like this, which is a very nice, simple revealing animation. Maybe I'll increase the time duration of this alpha layer from eight seconds to 10 seconds. I want it to appear a little bit more slowly. Yeah, that is looking much better i think now let's duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate it open the logo precomp 2 and let's delete these two layers drag the logo precomp 1 inside this and then duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate it let's go to around one second and maybe 25 frames drag this layer right here and change this to logo precomp 1 alpha mat oh sorry alpha inverted mat so now we have a revealing as well as a reveal out animation now as you can see we have these weird lines so to fix this i'm going to select the top layer go into effects and presets search for an effect called simple choker double click to apply that and set this to minus two and that should fix it pretty nice now let's go back into our main project panel and duplicate this one press ctrl d so now we have logo precom 3 open that up and then we can delete this compositions i'm going to drag the logo precom 2 right here also one thing that i forgot to do is to add a simple scale animation on the logo precom 1 so let's go back into our logo precom 1 select the logo press s to bring down the scale property set the scale property to around 190 create a keyframe go to around let's say 5 seconds and set this to 100 there you go so now we have this kind of a nice reveal which looks pretty good okay Let's go back into our logo precom 3. 
right click and create a new adjustment layer call this extra color go to effects and presets search for ramp and let's add a gradient ramp on this and this time i'm going to go with some really vibrant color so i'll go right here maybe select this one and for this one i'll go with a nice blue color okay and then on top of this i'm gonna add a posturize effect let's bring that down to around five i think and let's adjust the gradient ramp like so so now we have something like this two tone effect onto our logo and right now it's very sharp so to fix that i'm going to add a fast box blur effect make sure you just drag and drop it onto the extra color adjustment layer let's set this to around 18 should be fine i think it's way too much let's go with 15 all right now right click and create new adjustment layer again call this fractal go to effects and presets search for fractal noise set the blend mode of this to multiply I'll increase the contrast to 200 and let's bring up the brightness to 50, bring up the complexity to 10 and then go into the transform property and set this to around 8. So now we have a nice texture on top of this which is looking pretty good. Let's also animate the evolution so we can add a very simple expression to animate the evolution. So hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch and let's type in a simple expression that is time into 200 so it's going to keep on animating and now we have something which looks like this all right now let's start building up the main essence of this complete animation that are the particles so i'll create a new composition call this particles underscore zero one press ok select the logo precom 3 and drag and drop it into the particles one composition so we have something like that then select it go into effects and presets and search for an effect called cc particle system double click to apply that set the birth rate to 200 and bring up the longevity to 8.5 then go to producer set the radius x to 50 and radius y to 25 then go into particles and change the particle type from line to textured tri-polygon set the birth size to 0 0.03 and let's set the death size to 0 also make sure to check this that is source alpha inheritance so make sure to turn that on then go into the physics set this to i think let's go with 20 set the velocity to minus 0 0.014 and set the gravity to minus 0 0.002 set the extra to 10 and now we have something like this i'll also increase the random seed i believe to one so we have a little bit more randomness let's close this effect go into effects and presets and search for turbulent displays and bring down the size to 50. also let's change the preset to turbulent smoother let's also animate the evolution just like we did last time so hold alt click on the evolution stopwatch and type in a simple expression of time into 100 also i want to add an expression to the direction of the particles so what i'll do is i'll open up the cc particle system and here we have the direction so hold alt click on the stopwatch and let's type in time into minus 500 all right so this is what we get now to enhance the particles what i can do is add a simple choker effect on this and set this to minus 2 and then add a curves effect set this to alpha and let's increase this so it will enhance the particles on the edge and that is what i am going for also you may get a little bit of anti-aliasing issues right here you can see these little white dots that we get so to fix this i'm going to use a very uncommon or unfriendly effect which is rarely used and it's called median legacy so i'm gonna drag and drop it on top of the curves effect and on top of the simple choker as well and that will help us get rid of that white dots if you don't get these kind of anti-aliasing issues feel free to not use this effect but in case if you get it you can use this median legacy effect and i'm gonna close all the effects all right now let's duplicate this press ctrl d and let's drag this maybe around 10 frames forward in time just like that we can hide the top layer we just need to work with the bottom one let's go into the cc particle 2 bring down the birth rate to 14 and let's bring down the bring up the longevity to 10 let's increase the resistance to 1.3 set the birth size to 0 0.01 and the death size to 0 0.01 as well 
turn off the source alpha inheritance let's go into the turbulent displays i'll increase the size to around 75 and everything else looks fine so now we have a little bit more detail as you can see this is before this is after and that is looking nice a little bit layer of detail at the vanishing of our logo which makes it look even more interesting now let's duplicate this so let's duplicate the particle one composition press ctrl d so now we have particles two and i'm gonna get rid of this one we only need to work with the uh, logo precom 3 in the particles 2 composition let's bring down the birth size or birth rate to 35 and bring up the longevity to 10 go into producer and i'm gonna leave it as it is let's check the physics and let's set this to 0 minus 0 0.2 bring up the resistance to 12.3 and set the gravity to 0 0.1 let's go into the particles and everything else looks fine let's um leave it as it is so now we have the particles falling out which looks pretty cool by the way let's close this go into the turbulent displays let's increase the amount to 125 and the size to 65 let's also increase the median legacy to 3 and simple choker to minus 3 so now we have these cool looking particles let's duplicate this press ctrl d duplicate it and now I want the same animation but the particles I want them to go upwards so I'll go into the particle system physics and set the gravity to minus 0 0.1 and there we go we have this really cool look now let's go back into our main project panel and drag the particles one composition below and now we have this animation Now let's go into our main render comp and we can start building up the final scene. So I'll start by creating a background solid. So press Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background with a black color. Let's go into effects and presets, search for ramp, add a gradient ramp. Let's set this to radial and swap the colors. I'll go with a nice dark blue. Looks something like this. All right. And also increase the ramp scatter to around 50. Also, very important is that you make sure you're working in 16 BPC. In case if you're working in 8 BPC, you can hold Alt and switch by clicking on this like so. Then let's add our logo composition. And on top, I'm going to add the alpha composition. Change the track mat of this one to alpha. There you go. So now we have something like that. Perfect. Let's add the particle to composition on top and add some glow to this. I'll set this to around 80%. And this one, let's go with 70. Okay, and the glow intensity to 0.1. So now we get this really nice shadows as you can see. Also, I think I'll go into particles too and move this forward by one second. Now we have a nice revealing animation. Yep. I think one second is a way too much. Let's go at 15 frames. Yeah, that is looking much better i think then i'll go back and one effect that i forgot to add on the particle one in the particle two composition is go and select the particle one layer go into effects and presets search for cc vector blur and let's set this to perpendicular increase the amount to 10 and that should make it really cool also let's add some sharpen on this let's set this to around 50 then select the logo precom 3 let's close all the effects and i'm gonna add an extract effect set the black point to 100 and the black softness to 50. all right that is looking good now this effects can definitely get a lot heavy on the system so be sure to play around with them in half res don't switch to full res you know it can literally crash your system i think yeah that is looking much better i think let's also copy this extract effect on the top layer so yeah that is looking really nice i think pretty cool and finally we will add some final touches like the rgb split and the uh, ctr screen effect 
So to do that, I'll right click and create a new adjustment layer. Call this RGB. Select the layer, go into effects and presets, search for shift channels. Double click to apply that. Set this to, um, I think it was um, saturation. Also make sure to change the blend mode of this to hard light and then bring down the opacity to around 30. So that looks much better. Then search for curves effect, double click to apply that. Let's switch to alpha channel and increase the brightness a little bit. I think it, I will go with a 50% opacity. That would be much better. That is looking much nicer. And let's add a solid composite effect. Set this to black, add a tint effect. Set this one to red and this one to blue and then I'll add an emboss effect. Set the relief to 1.2 then I'll add a CC vector blur. Set this to 200 and finally let's add a glow. Set this to 20 and now we have a nice RGB split onto our logo looks very nice and adds a, another level of detail which looks very very cool and let's add a C, CRT or CTR I'm not sure what it's called but uh, it's a really cool TV screen effect which I'm going to add it right now so I'm going to just call this texture let's search for fill effect double click to apply that set this to white then search for pattern that is cell pattern effect set this to bring that up to around 450 and bring down the disperse to zero and bring up the size to bring down the size to four and then we can simply change the blend mode of this to soft light so now we have this nice tv it's looking like a logo is behind a screen which looks really really cool to be honest and i will bring down the opacity of this to around 30 percent very nice and subtle and boom there we have it. Let's preview our final animation. And there we have an advanced dispersing logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And make sure to check out my complete playlist dedicated to logo reveal, which you can find it in the i button and in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.